which works for either new to the game or you've been playing for a while and you're simply trying to get a one up in terms of your overall credit profit to be able to buy the next car, the next house, whatever it may be. Now this glitch has never been shown on my channel before and it's going to be quite interesting to see how you guys actually see and how you get to utilize this to the most, uh, what to the most maximal effective use of to the highest extent now of course the estimated credit income that you can get from this glitch by using it on an hourly basis is anywhere between 5 to around 12 million credits per hour i've seen some people on the lower echelon of that getting around 5 6 million and i've also seen some people with this glitch getting upwards of 10 million on quite easily on an hourly basis which is very significant when you look at it from a perspective considering the most expensive house in the game is hardly even over 20 million credits guys so it's very significant and i'll be going over all the steps required in order to use it the most effectively now just before i get started on the video a bunch of the people who watch these videos are not subscribed to my channel so i feel free to go in and do so guys it's free costs nothing to slam a subscribe button feel free to like while you're at it to stay up to date with the best forza horizon 4 glitches tutorials and giveaways but guys now i'm gonna get started on the video now just quickly if you guys are wondering how i have all these items and i've got all these credits on my accounts i'm just going to briefly say that's because i'm actually on a modded account from mitchcatters.com and these modded accounts come with not only 1 billion credits but also three of every single rare car in the game all the most exclusive cars were only previously available all pre-edition cars all dlc cars all hot wheels cars all them you can think of these accounts have with 2 million skill points 2 million full thumb points uh, thousands of wheel spins, hundreds of super wheel spins, and of course a very high but safe to use level as it's very unlikely with these accounts to be banned. In the case that we uh, they do, we very often provide replacements. Now we can apply these mods to your personal account or onto a new account that you can log into. And we also sell individual credit packs trading from 120 million to 1 billion. But now that I've gotten out of the way, I'll be getting onto the video. So basically the first step you guys wanted to do is, is actually involving this Elms and Onsi Sprint. Now before you say, oh I've already seen this on your channel before and get ready to click off, this is a new variation of this glitch. Forza made a big change to this, eradicated a bunch of the blueprints, and this is a very new way of doing it that I've never shown before, guys. So first thing you want to go in and do is head over to the festival. So if you've already seen the car that I'm driving in, it's actually the BMW M6 Forza Edition Coupe. So this car can easily be bought off the auction house for around 150,000 credits. This is for reference. It's a good investment. You guys are going to want something like this for the glitch. And this is the one that I definitely recommend. So we're going to go M6, Force Edition. It's very cheap to get like 100,000 credits to a few hundred thousand if you want to buy it out. And the first thing you want to go and do, and I'm going to show on screen, go find new tunes. You're going to want to get a high speed slash drifting tune. Now, how I find them is I go into the ones with the highest popularity stars, and this one will work. Five star popularity. You know that this one's going to be having some pretty good results considering how the feedback has been seen from the greater community. Now, just for reference, you're also going to need a few skill points to start off with to trick out the car mastery perks. Now, this is going to be essential for the glitch, considering that you tricking out these is going to allow you to get way more skill points, which will result in you getting a bunch of credits from this glitch. So, watch the ones I upgrade. For example, Drift and E-Drift, going to be essential. Wreckage, not so essential, but it's cheap and you need it to upgrade, but it also will help. Skill chain ending one second later than normal. You don't really need it, but it can help you retain higher skill point uh, chains. The multiplier building three times quick, very essential. Uh, skill multiplier going to seven, also essential. You guys need this to be able to increase your uh, scores from this and also ultimate skill chain, very important. Now, a few of these aren't that important. Uh, combo skills, also very important. Some of them you can get if you want, and I'll be showing ones that aren't that useful, but you can get if you want. Near miss are pretty good. And one that I'll be talking about, which you don't really need, is air skills. You don't really need it much in this glitch, but you could use it occasionally. And also this one, the extra life. If you don't have 25 skill points, don't worry about it. If you do, you can get it if you want, but it also won't help that much. And the rest are not really going to be useful at all in this glitch, considering they're mostly for campaign races. So now you've got a car, you've got the tune you want, and you've got all the car mastery perks. Now let's head over to the Elms and Sea Sprint glitch, and I'll show you guys what to do next. So basically, there'll be a fair few blueprints to choose from, and these blueprints may change as the time goes on, considering some may get deleted, or new ones may come up that'll take their place. So I'm going to go enter event, I'm going to go solo, or if you're doing co-op, feel free to do so, it does work in co-op, and you want to go custom events, and I'm just going to go all-time grades. Now, some people like best of the month, I prefer all-time grades, so this one is five laps. If you're going to be grinding this glitch, five laps is definitely the move, but this video, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to show a shorter one, which is going to be one lap. You want to choose the car, of course, it's going to be the M6. And now, one thing people will ask me about, and they do quite frequently with these types of methods, is what difficulty settings do you recommend we use, considering you do get increased amount of credits from doing so. Now, honestly, it doesn't really matter that much, because considering that, I'm going to show you guys mine, it doesn't matter that much, considering the fact that I recommend you have traction control off, because you're going to be drifting, but 
like I was saying, considering the fact that the credits that you get from completing this race aren't really where the big money is in this glitch. You get a lot of them from the skill point growth that you'll be getting throughout the course of the glitch. Now, I'll show you guys here. What makes this a glitch is the fact that it's a checkpoint glitch. So you can see me overtake those uh, AI cars. The route that has been set by the owner is significantly slower and then what you actually need to take. And those bots will take absolutely ages to complete it. So you can see I went to the first uh, checkpoint. And now what you're going to start doing as soon as the race gets started is starting to get some side-by-side -side drifts. Now, you don't need to be huge drifts. They simply need to be big enough to be able to maintain that skill chain while also getting your speed skills So you want to be doing them high speed you can see if you look at my skill chain right now I'm getting a great drift awesome drift and I'm also going to be getting those speed skill boosts Considering the fact that I'm going over 300 kilometers per hour for an extended period of time So this is how you upgrade your chain extremely quickly while still maintaining a very uh, high speed you can see the next checkpoint is in around three kilometers. So all you guys really need to do is simply go up and down the highway. Now you can go side to side. You can get a few of those obstacles if you want. But now I need to talk about the maximal efficiency or the maximum way to be the most efficient way possible in terms of skill chain is ending it when it gets to around 70,000, uh, the number 70,000. So if you can see right now, it's at 41,000 times seven. You want it to be over by 70,000 because 70,000 is the point you reach where you've maxed out the amount of skill points you get from one chain, which is 10. So as you can see, it's at 46,000 right now, but it's actually gonna keep leveling up from all the previous skill points that haven't been able to be shown on the top there. So what you guys are gonna see me do is once I go around this U-turn at the end, I'm gonna stop getting some skill points just so I can bank these 10 skill points and get another 10 on the way back. So I'm gonna slow down, let all these add up real quick. As you can see, ultimate skied, bunch of drift ones, and essentially let it end because you don't want to be wasting time by going like 100,000 points in one chain considering then you're not being as efficient as possible. So I'm going to let this go, I'll let this end. In terms of the time per lap, it really does base it on how quick you want to go. So if I had ended that chain earlier, I would have already been going quick again. I didn't do it the best way possible, but anywhere between around two and a half minutes to three and a half per lap. So you can easily do around 20 per, uh, 20 per uh, well, I guess, session or hour. So as you can see, I'm starting to get these ultimate clean racing points again, and I'll stop you guys. As you can see, it's about to end the skill chain, and you can see it's going to end. Yep, there it is. That's 10 skill points right there, guys, and I'll cut to the end towards the end of the race, and I'll show you guys what to do next. While I'm doing that, I'll keep leveling up these skill chains. So as you guys can see, I actually had a little bit of a crash back there because my computer all tabs for whatever reason. But on a realistic, but from a realistic point of view, you guys easily would be able to finish in around three and a half minutes. And as you can see, my skill chain is topping off. Now, if you're only doing a one lap variant of the race, you don't need to end the skill chain before the end because it will give you the skill points as you go through the line. But that's basically it, guys. So three and a half minutes for, for one lap, and I profited around 20 skill points. So if you're doing around 60 of those an hour, guys, you're easily getting, or if you're doing around, even if you're only doing around 30 of those an hour, guys, you're easily doing um 400 to a thousand skill points on an hourly basis now i'll show you guys but we're thinking well you've showed us how to get skill points how does that equate to credits well here it is guys so i'm going heading to the festival and there's going to be one car in particular from the auto show that i'm sure a lot of people know about and that is called the porsche 911 turbo gt 3.3 so if i go auto show i'm going to go porsche down the end here so I go porsche and you can head over to the right and you've got 911 turbo 3.3 so here it is you can go any color does not matter buy it out and this car costs 150,000 credits and there's a credit skill perk that allows you to get 300,000 credits profit which means that the next time you buy another one you'll have 150,000 to go spend on it and then you'll make 300,000 credits profit so some people weren't doing the maths right and were saying oh no you set the same credit amount you don't you're just looking at the wrong way guys so car mastery you want to upgrade the whole left uh uh, essentially left portion of this to the top left credit perk there and there's also one wheel spin you can get for an additional uh, skill point i'd recommend you guys get that just so you can test your life with some more credits or even some wheel spins etc so as you can see 300,000 credits now added plus the extra wheel spin and that's basically all there is to it so if you did a few hours of that and you had a few thousand skill points you could put those towards a bunch of porsches that allow you to get cash out those skill points to millions and millions of credits so guys, it's basically all there is to the glitch. It's very simple and very easy to use. Now, if you want to use this or do this with a friend, feel free to do so. And guys, it's going to be about it for this video. I hope you did enjoy. If you'd like to stay up to date with the best Forza Horizon 4 glitches, tutorials, and giveaways, make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on. And also like and comment any suggestions or feedback. And also, if you're looking for the best, cheapest, and quickest delivery Forza Horizon 4 modded accounts and credits, head over to midchats.com. We currently have over 600 five-star reviews. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,